problem. She thinks cows are cool. During a trip to the Caribbean, she dressed as a cow and won first prize at a costume party. This is David Rina. He studies Latin and recently went to St. Martin in the Netherlands Antilles. This is Vidya Raju. She's been to Bombay and Madras, where she likes the temples, the shrines, and the food. And this is Robo Brooks, Carmen Sandiego's clanky criminal crony. His last known whereabouts? The sky. The moon is Earth's closest neighbor. For centuries, people worshipped the moon as a goddess. And it is powerful. Its gravitational field affects the tides in our oceans. Some even think it affects human behavior. The word lunatic, from the Latin word for moon, was used to describe crazy people. For over four billion years, the moon has circled the Earth once every 27.3 days, until today, when Robocrook snatched our nearby satellites and left a big space in space. Uh -huh. How could uh -huh. he do such a thing? Maybe he just took a shine to it. Oh, gumshoes, it's your job to stop <laughs> the goon who stole the moon, or Lunar Loot Lifter. And here's Acme's senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Red Lee! Video. Good to see you guys. Hey, I just want to remind you, if one of you catches Carmen San Diego today, you're going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that is not bad. <laughs> to help you out with that, we're going to give you 50 Acme Crime Bucks. And you guys know how this game is played, so we're going to start off with our very first clue, which is the Acme Crime Net computer. Check it out. Right over here. See what's in here? Oh, gee, look at this. It's cold. There's like snow and ice in there. No gear. It says, check above the Arctic Circle in a northern European region that spans Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Russia. The indigenous people call themselves Sami. They herd reindeer and use them for everything. Milk, meat, clothing, and transportation. The Sami language contains more than 20 different words for snow. Okay? You know, I really... <laughs> I can't resist, but when I see something cold like this, I just want to see if it's true what they say about sticking your tongue on something cold. Excuse me. Uh. It's true, all right. You'll lose your, you'll lose your gum. Okay, guys. Name the region. Is it Baltic states, Lapland, or Silesia? Remember the clues that we heard? Uh, Northern Europe, partly above Arctic Circle, Sami people, and region runs through Norway, Finland, Sweden, and Russia. And if you're eating at this time, we are sorry. Uh, Deborah, you're you're ready. Go ahead. What do you say? I chose Lapland. Lapland, David. I chose Silesia. Silesia. What do you think, uh, Vidya? I chose Lapland. Lapland. The answer we're looking for is Lapland. Nice job, guys. <laughs> okay, so we give you 10 crime bucks for every correct answer. That means, Deborah, you're up to 60. David has 50. Vidya, 60 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. For our next clue, we turn to Reginald Vell Johnson from Acme Family Matters Net. Watch. Gumshoes. Robo's in Siberia. He hid the moon in the Earth's oldest and deepest lake. But you'd better pack scuba gear. The lake is more than 5,000 feet deep, and there's more water in it than all the five great lakes combined. In fact, some scientists think it might be the beginning of a new ocean. So come on. Catch a wave and catch that crook. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, Re uh, Reginald. Uh, name the uh, lake, if you will, guys. Is it... Lopner, Lake Bal Balkash, or Lake Baikal. Remember the clues that we heard in Siberia, world's oldest and deepest lake, and maybe an ocean in the making. Okay, come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Trying to come up with the answer, trying to find Robo, trying to find the moon. 
Biddy is ready. David, hold right, right up there so I know you're ready. David's ready, so is Deborah. Deborah, what do you think? I chose Lake Baikal. Uh, Lake Baikal. What do you think, David? I chose Lake Baikal, too. Baikal, Vidya. I chose Lake Baikal. The answer we're looking for is Lake Baikal. Nice job, guys. Okay, so that means Deborah, you have 70, David, 60, Vidya, 70 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, Deborah. Wait a minute. That sounds like some kind of water buffalo party going on out here. Let's just check the word on the street. Hey, guys. What's the word on the street? Hey, Greg. The word on the street is kalabao. It means water buffalo in the Tagalog dialect. Robo crooks on the southernmost large island in the Philippines, where kalabao are prized animals. Really? Why is that? Well, most people there farm for a living, and the kalabao is the farmer's hardest working animal. You know, plowing fields, pulling loads. In fact, a lot of towns celebrate a Calabao festival. Farmers bathe their buffalo, shine their horns, put flowers on them, then show them off in town. Okay. Well, listen, thanks for the tip, guys. And by the way, better get that guy some floss. It's very important. Thanks. Flossing is very important. Okay, guys, name the island, if you will, please. Is it Mindanao, Luzon, or Borneo? Remember the clues that we heard? Southernmost large island in the Philippines. Most people farm for a living. And Calabao festivals. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Trying to find Robo. Biddy is ready. Uh, David, are you ready? Yes, he is. And Deborah is still thinking about it and still looking at the map. And now she's going back to her cards and the map and thinking and the cards. What do you think, Deborah? I chose Mindano. <laughs> uh, Mindanao. What do you think, David? I also chose Mindanao. Mindanao. Vidya. I chose Borneo. Borneo. The answer we're looking for is Mindanao. Nice job, Deborah and David. Okay, so that means, Deborah, you have 80, David 70, Vidya 70 crime bucks. This is a very close game, guys. And you know what that means? It's time for the lightning round. All of these questions are about Robo's most recent known whereabouts, which is the Philippines. So, hands on your buzzers. They're all worth five crime bucks. Listen carefully. Here we go. It's not unusual to hear Filipinos speaking a combination of English and the local dialect Tag Tagalog. What is this unofficial new dialect called? Ingalog, Taglish, or Inglapino? David. Taglish. Taglish is right. Very good. <laughs> Thank you so much for getting that right. I wouldn't have to say them over again. Thanks a lot. It takes up to 75. Second question. In 1991, the U.S. Navy closed Clark Air Base, one of its last bases in the Philippines. Which kind of natural phenomenon contributed to this decision? David. Volcano. Is right. Judges, is that okay? Yeah, volcanic eruption. Good job. Number three, in 1978, the world championship between Karpov and Korchnoi was held in the Philippines. What game was the championship in? Deborah. The Olympics? Sorry, it's not the Olympics. I'll give you the choices for David and Vidya. Was it chess, bridge, David? Chess. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. That means at the end of that round, Deborah has 80, David 85, Vidya 70 crime bucks. Still a very close game, guys. That's the way to do Greg, it. Greg, something extremely important has come up. Could you come in here for a moment, please? Oh, absolutely, Chief. I mean, if it's extremely important, you guys will understand. It is extremely important. Yeah, Chief. Pick a number. Oh, I love these things. What, do you, what are they called again? It's an acne fortune teller foldy thing. Now, come on, yes. Greg. Pick a number. Uh, two. Okay. Pick a color. Uh, chartreuse. Yeah. Okay, red. R E D. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. You will tell the dumb shoes at home about the contest. Well, that's a pretty specific uh, fortune you have there, Greg. Yeah, okay, absolutely. I mean, I can't imagine that it's ever going to come true. Whoa! Well, whenever you watch the show, write down what got stolen and from where. When you've collected four loots and locations, put them on a postcard and send them to. Acme Crime Net, Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Hey, why did I do that? Well, the power of the foldy thing is mysterious and strong. Yeah, yes. oh, it is. Oh, yes. Every day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send each of them a Carmen t shirt. Here's who won today. Congratulations to the winners. Okay, Chief, now it's your turn. Pick, pick a number. Uh, two. Two. One, two. Uh, pick a lunch meat. A lunch meat. Uh, olive loaf. Olive loaf. O-L-I-V-E-L-O-A-F. Okay, here it is right here. It says that you and your partner will uh, dance the polka, and then you'll turn and yell chocolate waffles, chocolate waffles to each other, and then he will uh, immediately leave the office. Oh, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever... Whoa! Whoa! 
Okay, guys, remember, we're still looking for Robo and the Moon. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just received this phone conversation between Robo and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Carmen, I suspect the gumshoes have detected me. Well, quit moonshining. Go to a city in Alabama near the Tennessee border. Won't I be a little conspicuous out in the country? Alabama isn't all farms, Robo. Hide in the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, where you'll find the biggest collection of missiles and rockets in the world. Rockets have already visited the moon. Now the moon will visit rockets. Very logical. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Huntsville, Selma, or Mobile? Remember the clues that we heard near Tennessee border? U.S. Space and Rocket Center. Everybody's ready. Deborah, what do you think? I chose Huntsville. Huntsville, David. I also chose Huntsville. Huntsville, Vidya. I chose Huntsville. Huntsville, listen, everybody said Huntsville. Everybody's right. Nice job, guys. Yeah. That's the way to do it. That means, Deborah, you come, come up to 90. David has 95. Video 80 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. For our next clue, we... Wait a minute. That can only mean one of two things. Either the office is finally sinking into quicksand, or it's time for the plastic diver guy. Go! He lives a life of danger. Our underwater ranger. The one and only plastic diver guy. Yo, PDG. What up? I saw Robocook in a city on the eastern shore of the San Francisco Bay. It's the home of several famous rap music acts, like Hammer and Too Short. And it's the place where Harry Houdini escaped from a straitjacket while suspended in midair from the Tribune Tower back in 1923. Oh no. Greg, it's the ominous music. Oh, why did I come here? It's... Oh, 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 oh. The one and only Plastic Diver Guy. Plastic Diver Guy, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it. <sighs> so hard to hold your breath for that long. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Fresno, San Luis Obispo, or Oakland? And the clues that we heard. East of San Francisco Bay, home of rappers Hammer and Too Short, and famous Houdini escaped in 1923. They're thinking, coming up with an answer. Actually, they're not coming up with an answer. Uh, David is, okay? Quickly, guys, video. Deborah, what do you think? Deborah, what do you think? I chose Oakland. Oakland, David. I also chose Oakland. Oakland, video. I chose Oakland. Oakland, you're all right again. Nice job. <laughs> I'd be worried there for a minute, but you came off really good. Deborah, you have 100. David has 105. Vidya, 90 crime books. Now, we just received word that Robo left Oakland, so let's pick up the chase. The chase! You get a good prop, you want to use it, okay? All these are worth five crime books. Hands on the buzzers. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Robo zoomed to Balboa. David San Diego. is right. Then he marched the moon to Nogala. Deborah. Sonora is right. Next, Robo rocketed the moon to the capital of Chihuahua. Name the city. David? Uh, Toluca? Sorry, it's Chihuahua. He moonwalked across Chihuahua's northeastern border into Texas. What river did he cross? Y uh, video. Rio Grande? That's right. Robo stashed the moon at Sunset Crater National Monument. What state is he in? Uh, Deborah? Arizona. Is right. Nice job. That means at the end of that round, Deborah has 110, David has 110, and Vidi has 95. Nice job, guys. I thought for a minute there I wasn't going to get any of the questions out. You guys were answering them without the questions. Nice job. Okay, now it is time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Books. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Robo is headed. Now, if you think you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, guys, for our last clue, we turn to Acme's best pupil, the private eye. Greg, I scooped Robocrook in Venezuela's second largest city. He's on a lake that shares the city's name. 
He probably came here to refuel. This region has hundreds of oil wells. Well, see you later, Greg. I'm going to go get some shut eye. I can barely keep my lid open. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sorry. Name the city, if you will, please, guys. Is it Caracas, Medellin, or Maracaibo? And the clues that we heard, second largest city in Venezuela, located on lake with same name as city, and lots of oil wells in the region. This is the final clue of this round, so put your answers right there in front of you when you have it. And we'll start uh, as soon as David's ready, and he's ready. Video, you have 95 crime bucks. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say? I chose Maracaibo. It, Maracaibo is right. Nice job, Video. Takes you up to 125. David, you have 110. You've been battling with Deborah for the lead the whole game. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 right? crime bucks. What'd you say? I also chose Maracaibo. Nice job. Takes you up to 130. Deborah, you're at 110, battling for the lead. As we said before, how much did you risk? I risked 10 crime bucks. 10 crime bucks. If you're right, it'll take you up to 120. What'd you say? I said Maracaibo. Is right. It takes you up to 120. But David has 130, Vidya has 125. That means David and Vidya, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations, guys. Deborah, listen, you were in, ahead for most of that round. You did a great job, just didn't quite wager quite enough there at the end. But listen, you have nothing to be ashamed of. You had a great game. We have something very special for you. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. You've been extremely helpful in our search for Robocook. And we're so grateful that we're giving you this Acme travel kit. Inside, you'll find an atlet, the official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World magazine, but that's not all. To keep your eye on the ball, we're giving you a ball. Not just any ball, but a world ball. So, keep your eye on the ball, but be careful where you throw it, especially around expensive equipment. Okay, guys, listen, it's time to go to Maracaibo. We're going to pick up Robo and the Moon. You guys all packed, ready to go? I want me to take your hat? Yeah, if you would, please. If you'd get the door. I need to uh, stop by and pick up some support hose. You need to have an extra pair wherever you go. Uh -huh. Chief, if we solve this case, can I paint a big, goofy snake face on the front of this thing? I'd love to say yes, Greg, but it's a rental. <laughs> Okay, guys, here we are in Maracaibo. Take your positions right over here. The chief has some very important information she wants you to hear. So listen very carefully. There. There are 15 places here in Maracaibo where you might find Robo Crook, the Warrant, or the Moon. Here's a few of them. Taste this water village with its stilted houses. Villages like this reminded Spanish conquerors of Venice, so they named the region Venezuela, Little Venice. Since then, Maracaibo has become a thriving city. This church might look lovely in the moonlight, but we won't know until you get the moon back. Check for Robo out on Lake Maracaibo, bonding with fellow metalheads. For over 50 years, derricks have pumped oil from beneath uh -huh. this lake, making some Venezuelans very rich. Remember, gumshoes, we're not like Jupiter, with more moons than it knows what to do with. Earth has only one, and it's gone. Rectify this wrong and rout out Robo. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, just a reminder, you have to find the loot, the warrant, the crook, in that order in a single turn. If you do that, you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. You catch her, you get the trip, okay? David, you're ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Uh, science walk. Science walk. Nothing there, but we're on our way. Video? Uh, Church of Santa Barbara. Church of Santa Barbara. Nothing there. Uh, Zaruma Quarter. Uh, uh, Zaruma Quarter. Nope, nothing there. Video. Hotel Del Lago. <laughs> Hotel Del Lago. No. <laughs> Thank you, David. Pinzulia. Pinzulia. No, sorry. Video. Indian Market. Indian Market. Oh, that was lovely. David. Plaza Boulevard. Plaza Boulevard. No, nothing there. Video. The Cathedral. The Cathedral. Nope, oh, nothing there. David. Lake Maracaibo. Lake Maracaibo. <laughs> nothing there, Vidya. Um, bear statue. The bear statue. Actually, we, we put nothing behind this board, but 
We're going to let you keep guessing. Go ahead, Dave. El Mirador Park? El Mirador Park. No, I told you. Video. Um, Baralt Theater? Baralt Theater. Got to be something. The warrant. Okay, you found the warrant, you get a free turn. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Go ahead. Uh, bear statue? The bear statue. Yes, you know how to play this. We'll turn this back around. David, what do you think? Government Palace. Government Palace. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Dave. Baralt Theater. Baralt Theater. The warrant. You, sir, have the loot. You have the warrant. You just need to find Robo. Where is he? Erdenata Bridge. Is he at the Erdenata Bridge? Yeah! <laughs> Come here, Dave. Oh, we want you to get it all, buddy. We want you to get it all. Nice job. Now all you do is put Robo in jail, pull on the chain and do it. Robo You see, we want you to get the full Carmen San Diego experience. You know, that's why the confetti thing. Anyway, we'll talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. First off, video, listen, you are a tremendous detective. You tracked Robo all the way here. We have something very nice for you. Chief. You did great work helping us track Robo Crook today. And to reward your skill and dedication, I'm giving you the Acme Travel Kit and this automatic camera, small enough to fit into your pocket and perfect for covert surveillance. Thanks for all your hard work here, and congratulations! Thanks, Chief. All right, now, as you know, here is our portfolio in a lovely... Fetch. You've seen this before? Yeah. A lovely fetching walnut brown color. Inside, there's a stylus, and there's also a piece of paper. I want you to write down where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get the chance. The music is playing. The man is writing. Where do you want to go? So how long have you been thinking about this? Well, about discussing with parents for summer vacation. Really? Yeah, so they said this is okay and yeah. everything, and so everybody's in agreement. So we, they're really counting on you to win this. I guess you could say that. Oh, very good. Okay, so it, before we do that, though, we got to find out where Carmen San Diego is, and we get a telegraph, telephone. Hello. Here we go. Robo Crook Unit Zero Five Nine calling. According to my default program, when imprisoned for more than eleven seconds, I automatically rat on my owner. Look for Carmen in Europe. What do you say, Dave? In Europe. All right then, Dave. You and I are going to Europe. Chief. Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Spain, Wales, Scotland, Norway, Finland, Estonia, Poland, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, Slovenia, Bulgaria, Moldova. Greg, let's go to the map. <laughs> You know what this is all about, right? Yep. No question. For those who may not know, let me just explain it, okay? What you have to do is identify eight countries in 45 seconds. When you are right, you will hear this sound. If by chance you're wrong, you will hear this sound. That's very important. If you hear that sound twice, leave the marker where it is, come on back, and we will continue. But if you are right eight times in 45 seconds, you win the trip. Are you ready? Uh, yes, I am. Are you really ready? Extremely ready. <laughs> very good. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, come on, Dave, buddy. Let's do this thing. We're going to put 45 seconds up on the clock. You guys cheer him on with all you got. Good luck to you, Dave. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Come with the card of Wales. 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 Do it. Hurry. No, try it again. Try it again. Yes, come on. We're in Norway. 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 Yes. Hamburg, Germany. Hamburg, Germany. 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 Do it, man. Got to hurry. No. No. Try it again. Try it again. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Finland, 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 yes, Slovenia, Slovenia, Ljubljana, Slovenia, no, try it again, no, okay, Tallinn, Estonia, Estonia, cheer on, guys, let's hear some Noah, no, try it again, try it again, no, come on back, Turin, Italy, 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 good buddy, yes, yes, oh, four in 45 seconds, give him a big round of applause, nice job, Dave. You were talking before the show, before we did this part, you studied for what map? Africa. For Africa. Had this been Africa, you would have nailed. But this is a tough map all by itself, so you know, who knows what happens. But listen, you did a great job anyway. You got the crook. That's fantastic. Chief, what do you say? 
Carmen Sandiego evaded us today, but thanks to you, Robo Crook is safely behind bars. And since you did such a fine job, I'm giving you a portable CD player. Use it to listen to this library of music from around the world and this CD by Rockapella featuring our theme song. Take a deep breath and be proud. You are a sleuth. Congratulations. And you're all right. You're cool. Take another deep breath. Oh, yeah, very good. Oh, yeah, good. Hey, listen, man, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing, though, I want you to do. You know what it is? Yeah. Rock a pella! Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. Sticky finger filch up from Berlin down to Belize. Take me for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their soul in South Korea. We're going to try all sorts of food. And remember, there's no escape, you burgling creep. We'll find you while you sleep. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was presented by WQ.